God bless uh, Facebook. You know. Guys, are we here preaching the gospel? Glory to God. Praise Jesus. I want to preach the gospel to you today. It's always good to hear the word of God. And I want to read out of 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men have come to slackness, but is not suffering. Praise Jesus. Not willing that any surprise, but they all, all shall come to repentance. And that's the message I want to. That's the message I want to bring to you today. God was the gospel of the world. It gave us only the guy, his son. I hope we're to listen up, perish, but have everlasting life. And that's why I'm here, here. So you can receive the word of God, the gospel of peace. Because he's coming, my friend. He's coming, and his reward is with him to give those according to what they did, they did in the flesh. But they did um, abomination unto the righteousness, or they did sin. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And I'm out here proclaiming the gospel, the good news that you have, you have salvation, and salvation is found in Jesus. That he shed his blood for us, right? We were bought at a price. The Bible said that we were bought at a price. That the shedding of the blood, there was no sacrifice, there was sin. So we needed that blood sacrifice. We needed that blood shed. And the only way we have um, forgiveness is through Jesus Christ. You see, when he died on the cross, he shed his blood for him. He took the penalty. He took the sin of the world upon his back. And that's what he did for us, to give eternal life. And you see, when the Bible says, if you confess and believe, believe in your heart, confess in your mouth in the Lord Jesus Christ and call upon name, you shall be saved. And, and, but it takes repentance. It takes to deny yourself, pick up the cross and follow him. Deny all the works of the flesh. Because the floats of the flesh that lead you to hell, there's a broad pass that leads to hell, to destruction. And many are on that path, the Bible says. The Bible says that many are on that path. You see, if you don't deny yourself, you don't deny the, 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 the works of the flesh, right? Your fornication, lying, adultery, smoking, fornication, sex inside of marriage, um, lying, things that will not inherit the kingdom of God. You see, when you, when you seek Jesus, when you seek Him, the Bible says you will find Him. That's why you got to look for Jesus where He can still be found, call upon His name when He's near. You see, because there's going to come a time that you won't be able to reach Him. You won't be able to reach the God. You won't be able to call upon His name. You'll be too late. And you're going to be without excuse because God sends His messengers out here so you can repent of your sin, repent to Jesus Christ. And the Bible says he's coming like a thief in the night. And you know what the Bible says that the, the, the earth is going to be burned, the earth, and all the elements and everything that's on at heaven. You see, and, and we, we, we have to look, start looking for Jesus, man, because the time that we're living in, man, we live in perilous times. 
and, and people are living in the flesh and they want to you know, satisfy their flesh. The Bible says that, they, that, that Jesus Christ is coming, right? And when you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. You're going to reap what you deserve. But when you sow to, to the Spirit, you reap eternal life. You see, that's the good thing about Jesus, man. He want to give you eternal life, man. The Bible says that you love darkness rather than light. You love your darkness. You love the deeds are evil. If you keep sowing into the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. You're going to reap destruction. That's why the Bible says to hold that was eternal. Hold on to the spiritual things, the things that will not get old, things that will not rot, where thieves will not get in. Store your treasure in heaven for where your heart is, where your treasures be. You see, when you start seeking Jesus, and he'll open your eyes, and, and, and you see, and he'll deliver you. You see, Jesus Christ can deliver you from sin, the so law of sin and death. And it's time that we start looking for Jesus for these end times. That's why you gotta call upon his name. So he sent us out here to preach the gospel, the good news of Jesus. So you can be sealed with the Holy Spirit. But you have to first deny yourself, pick up the cross and follow him. And start seeking. Seeking where he can still be found, man. Jesus Christ is coming. Oh man, Jesus Christ is coming. He's sending his angel out here to blow the trumpet. Oh, the, the, he's coming like a thief in the night. Praise Jesus, he's coming. Jesus Christ is coming, man. It's time to look for him. It's time that you start seeking the things of God. Start seeking first the kingdom of heaven and everything is to be added unto you. But you're afraid you gotta seek the kingdom of heaven. You gotta deny yourself. It's time that you start seeking Jesus where you can still be found. You see, the, the time is standing. The time is at hand. You know, the Bible said, talks about that the hearts of many will draw cold at the end times. The Bible said that the that the hearts of men will draw cold. The love of the wax cold. And that's the time we're living in. People don't care no more. They don't have no more love. They got that fake love. You see, but when you have Jesus in your heart, you will love living with your enemies. Because that's the Holy Spirit that lives in you. You know, the Bible talks about your body, the temple, the body. And you see, when your body, when the, when the temple don't have the Holy Spirit, you don't got that self-control when you don't got the Holy Spirit in you. When you have the Holy Spirit, you got self-control, you got joy, peace, happiness. But when you don't got the Spirit or the Holy Spirit, or you're not sealed, you're going to be having cursing in your mouth and constantly getting drunk and getting high and trying to satisfy the flesh and trying to, uh, uh, try to fill a void in your heart. And that's how a lot of people get into depression. A lot of people get into depression like that. Praise Jesus. If God can deliver you from depression, He can deliver you from witchcraft. He can deliver you. He's the deliverer. He came to set the captives free. That's what Jesus Christ came to do. He came to set the captives free to bring healing. And he want to save your soul. He want to save you from this church. He want to save you from hell. If you just believe in the gospel, believe in Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. You and your family will be saved. You call upon Jesus. This, the Bible says that this way that look good into eyes and eyes, this way that look right into a man's eyes, but at the end brings death. This thing that we do, there's pleasure in our flesh, but it brings destruction. But I want to let you know that Jesus Christ can set you free. Jesus Christ can deliver you. He wants to save you. We you have to turn from your wicked ways, turn from your sin. And Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one goes to the Father but by Jesus. And that's why I'm here to proclaim the gospel, the good news, Jesus Christ. That he wants to save you. He wants to deliver you. Praise Jesus. He wants to deliver you. And you can just seek Jesus where he can still be found. And call upon his name. You see, because we live in life like, like, like pleasure, like there's nothing gonna happen. There's, there's nothing coming. That's why the Bible said that many are called has slack. The same way the problem of your coming. That's what happened. Then like I got read in Second Peter. He said, "What's the problem of your coming?" We like, but that's not slack concerning his promise. As many as count slackness. There's not all meant to, to, to perdon, they may all come to repentance. 
That's why who are all men to call to repentance. That's the whole point. He's not slack concerning his promise. He's not slack concerning his promise. It's not God's will that any should perish, but I may have eternal life with him, with Jesus Christ. And it's time to start looking for him. Because the judgment is coming. The Bible says that the that the wrath of God is revealed from heaven to all ungodly and unrighteous people. And you're going to reap destruction. And there's consequences in every sin that you make. In the body, outside the body, there's consequences that we face. When we sin before a holy God. When we sin before Him. And that's why Jesus Christ came. He wants us to, that's why He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Because He wants us to serve Him. He wants to, we got to be like Jesus. That's what Paul said. Be like me as I follow Christ Jesus. You see why? Because He produced the fruits. The fruit that Paul was producing, the fruit of the Spirit. Wow, praise Jesus. When you produce the fruit of the Spirit, not the, not the fruit of the flesh. You see, when you produce the fruit of the Spirit, you will love your enemy. You will love those who hate you, who will persecute you. When you leave according to Jesus Christ, when you read His Word, He transforms your heart. He will take away the heart of rock and give you a heart of meat. Wow, praise Jesus. And that's what God want to give you. He want to give you a heart of meat. You want to give your heart of me to humble yourself and turn away from your pride because the Bible says, the Bible says the power of 16 that pride comes before destruction and the Holy Spirit before its fall. You see, pride brings destruction, pride. And it's pride more, pride brings destruction in your life. That's why the Bible says, you know, people will humble, the people will call by when they will humble themselves and seek first the kingdom of heaven. I praise Jesus who will see from heaven and he bring healing to the land, but you have to humble yourself and turn to Jesus Christ. It's time that we start seeking the things above, start holding down for what is eternal. And start looking for Jesus Christ because he's coming, my friend. Jesus Christ is coming. Oh man, you gotta give those that what they would deserve. You gotta give those what they would deserve. Praise Jesus. Because he's coming, my friend, he's coming. And this is the warning. This is the warning. Jesus Christ is coming. That's why I'm out here preaching in the gospel the good news. The good news that He wants to give you eternal life. He wants to give you eternal life. Do you believe in Jesus? Anybody believe in Jesus? Does anybody believe in God? You believe in Jesus, brother? He's calling you to, to repent. Turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to Jesus. He is coming. Judgment is coming. And we gotta seek him, but he can still be found. You see, he wants to give you a new life. He wanna dress you with a white robe. He wants you to put your the he wants you to put the full arm of God. You see, when you have the full arm of God, you'll be able to stand against the wellness of the devil. I guess his tactics. You see, when you get the full arm of God, you'll be able to stand against the world of the devil. You begin to you could stand against the, the 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 attacks of the enemy. The Bible said that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every time that rises against me, God shall condemn. You see, when we say when we you see when we serve Jesus, the Bible said no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every time that rise against you, thou shalt condemn. You know why? Because my foot is upon a rock. Jesus Christ is that rock. When you bring your house upon that rock, oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. We all put our faith. We built our faith. Our house upon a rock. It should not be moved. But when you bring your house upon the sand, and when the storm comes, a beat on it. Don't be like the fool. The fool who planted, who built his house upon the sand. And when the storm came, he blew when the great was his destruction. But when you bring that house on a rock, which is Jesus, and put your faith in Jesus upon that rock, the storms will come and beat on the house and will never fall because the foundation of the rock. Jesus Christ is that rock, my friend. Jesus Christ is the rock. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. Put your trust. Put your faith in Jesus. The Bible says that faith 
come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And that's why I'm here today, preaching the word of God. Preaching the word of God to you guys. He is coming. And judgment is coming. But it's not God's will that is your purpose. If you just call upon his name, you will be saved. You will be saved from judgment. You will be saved. It's important to mention that once they come to judgment, the Bible said that we all will stand there before the judgment seat of Christ. We're going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And no abominable, no lie, no fornicators will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Only those that are written in the Lamb Book of Life. Is your name written in the Lamb Book of Life? Is your name written in the Lamb Book of Life? Jesus Christ calling all men everywhere to repent. And he's calling all men to repent. Because he's coming. And his reward is with him. Praise Jesus. It's time you give your life over to Jesus. He can deliver you. He can deliver you. He can bring healing to your body. He can bring healing to the family. And that's what Jesus wants to do. Jesus Christ wants to give you give your life a new life and have that life more abundantly. That's why I say he said before us, life and death. He said truth and life. That's why the Bible says that 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 he does not please God, the death of the wicked. It's not pleasant. But the Bible says that precious in the eyes of the Lord the death of the saints. You know why? Because you're washed with the blood of Jesus. And then we will pass from death into life. And we don't have to go to no second death with this hellfire. But those who are ready to learn book of life, Jesus loves you. God bless everybody. Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless everybody.